It is I, the French used fry, I return. I'm gonna continue this patch stuff so that we can get on to Endwalker. And I'm just gonna jump right in because the last time we left off, um, we had told everyone the truth about the, uh, the warrior's light. And in the middle of it, Hardbird appeared, or someone in his body, and everyone was like, oh, it's probably the last of the, uh, Asians. Lydibus. So right now that's the working theory, and we're gonna see how that goes. Let's get to it. Oh, that's a bit too close, Dim. You did well to dispel the falsehoods surrounding the Warrior of Light and their actions prior to the Flood. Though I must say the reappearance of Ardbert, or rather one they, one who appropriated his identity, was a rather curious development. He is an imposter, of that there is no doubt. But to the masses, he will appear as a hero returned from the grave. After the Warriors of Light were laid to rest in Yulmor, people prayed fervently for the gods to deliver them from their plight prayed that these fallen heroes be born again for their sacrifices. What bitter irony. I, for one, would like to know why Ardbert urged the people to become warriors of light themselves. Ere we take action, we must needs ascertain his intent. Let us pray that Master Alphano return this soon with that most essential knowledge. For now, I think it best to apprise Thancred and Reen of our efforts. When we do confront Ardbert, we shall no doubt have need of their strength. Agreed. I think it prudent we all take measures to prepare for what's to come. Bed luck. I will continue our research into how we might improve the spirit vessel, that it may one day carry you home. Well, oh, Bedlug and I. Huh. Hmm. Then I think it time I return to the Great Wood. Until now, everything we have learned of the Asians has been handed to us at their leisure. But that was one of Emmet Selk's unique failings. I have no reason to think Elidibus will be as forthcoming. Fortunately, I recently received word from Fano that heretofore unexplored chambers have been discovered deep within the Katana Ravel. Almet believes the relics within tell of a great calamity that befell an ancient civilization. That of the Asians, perhaps. They may lead us to the truths we seek. Would you care for company? Be sure to let me know how that works out. <laughs> I fail to see why it would be necessary, given you will be accompanying me. Don't be coy, it doesn't suit you. <gasps> how dare you! He's the coyest of cats. When you are ready, make for Fano. Almet and her sisters will be expecting us. Then let us be about our tasks. Pray, give me my give my regards to the V's. Why can't I read? Alright, uh goodbye, Exarch. I'm uh I'm teleporting right out of your ocular. Have a good time. Farewell. I'm gonna need to do the, uh... The Aether current quests here soon. Welcome, allies of Ronka. We have accomplished much since last you came. With the Light Warden dead and its minions dispersed, we have at last reclaimed our hunting grounds near Raktika Falls. It was there that we discovered more ruins. Although we ran afoul of no traps while exploring its halls, we determined that the innermost chambers were warded with magic. We were all in agreement. Before any investigation could proceed, you should be summoned. We are grateful that you did. 
From what you have told me, I strongly suspect the wisdom of my comrades and I seek can be found within. This wisdom could prove invaluable, for we may soon face a foe whose greatest asset is our ignorance. I see. Then it is good that you have come, for Ronka was once home to the greatest of weapons, knowledge and understanding. It is our duty to ensure that you and yours do not want for either. That said, we must proceed with caution. To have reached the inner chambers unmolested suggests a more formidable deterrent yet lies within. Come now, surely any threats sleeping within the ruins pale in comparison to those we have faced thus far. This is not a game, sister. You should not be so eager to run headlong into danger. Oh, and who was it pining for the return of our allies that we might venture into the ruins? Clutching her staff at night, wishing it were... You promise not to tell! Then I suggest we be going. Get back here! <laughs> oh, cute. Remind me, exactly how old are you and your sisters? On second thought, perhaps it's for the better that I don't know. Pray forgive their overzealous nature. None save we three have been privileged to escort you and yours into the ruins and bear witness to its secrets. Their hearts now burn with a curiosity that is not easily sated. Please, you need an apologize. As a seeker of knowledge myself, I understand full well their enthusiasm. And if not for your sedulous efforts to protect the ruins, we would not be afforded this opportunity. Speaking of which, I believe I have kept you away from the ruins long enough. Come, let us make for the Katana Ravel. I can't fly here. Oh. Immediately pulls out a bird. This is so slow. Okay, maybe it just felt slow. Probably because the wings flap so slowly. So it gives off the illusion that you're going really slow. In reality, you're just going normal speed. Lahi! I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot that this was a Lahi zone. Let's see, I think this is a turn in, so if it is, I am gonna swap to Sage. When that happens, because I want to get the experience. Oh, egg. Oh, no, it's not. It is most strange for these halls to be left unguarded. Have care when breaking through the seal on the chamber door. Danger surely waits us on the other side. Oh. Sure. Sufficient time. Here we go. Our new discoveries are to be found this way. The people of Ronka are known to have venerated animals, but these features do not match those of any indigenous species. This is no common beast. What is Though that much is plain from its proportions. What the fuck is that? Lifelike, is it not? One could almost imagine it breathed. Ah! 
Why you... Ugh. This owl, by contrast, seems no different from the others we've seen. The sealed door lies ahead. As you see, one statue is missing. I expect we are meant to replace it as before. Too simple. There will be some additional defense mechanism. Just a moment. There are words carved into the stone. He who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber shall instead waken the beast and know his folly. Wait! Don't! What? But I only... What is happening? Yes, when she says don't and you hear her keep doing the thing you're... Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no, oh no, it lives! <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Prepare yourselves! Yep, that's about the right face, Dim. Fuck. Oh, language. Sorry. You trespass, mortal, upon sacred ground in retribution for full souls. Four souls have I bom bound. Oh. Yet to heroes proven, learned, and wise, a comrade's sh soul shall be their prize. If you would set see theirs set free, answer me these riddles three. Oh no. Deft of paw, with kin do I vie. Those sought apart betterment of the whole do our efforts descry. Who am I? Um. What am I? Okay. Okay, I need to look up this word because I don't know what descry means. Oh, it means to see. Okay. Though sought apart. Our efforts show. Okay, I don't know what this is. 
but I know that monkeys work together and I don't think... Unless... Okay. Indeed, the Oppa Oppo is keen and shrewd, spirit of ingenuity, but whose guidance the Ronkins did prosperity to... Wow. The Ronkins did prosperity pursue the riddle's answer you did discern, thus your soul returns. With fearsome fang, I travel with pack. Together we find harmony, and thus for our peace does our land not... Our land does not lack. What am I? Where's a wolf? Indeed, twas the spirit of the wolf their doctrines praised, that they would know peace and harmony to the end of their days. The riddles answer you did discern, and thus to you a soul returns. On my belly do I crawl, by my strength does prosperity reign within our hall. What am I? Stink. Indeed, the dread serpent turned protector, lured to slumber, ere it tear the world asunder. Thus the soul returns. Okay, now we just gotta rescue Yustola. Dim, you're very good at this. Desire you that which I yet claim, then we shall play another game. Oh no. A test of memory and memory mind and memory, choose wisely, and you all may yet go free. I Twixt these talismans hide friend and foe. Choose your companions well or sh sorrow no. I am not good with names. Oh dear. Okay. Or not good with memory. Okay. Ah! Okay, I see. Okay, well let's check this one then. Nope. Okay, there's your stola. Okay, we got it. Your comrades are assembled together at last. Yet still there remains one trial you must pass. If you would glean the knowledge enshrined in this earth, I would first take the measure of your worth. One worthy of she who the Ronkins extolled must be strong of mind, body, and soul.
Paco? Off. <laughs> well fought hero, the trial is complete, the way is open, thus do I concede my defeat. You did it. First try. It would seem the magics have returned us. How polite. <laughs> now, what have we learned? Ah, we were bound to run into a living statue eventually. And now we can open the door. My gosh. She <laughs> learned nothing. Who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber? All right, well, who's our hero? A tomb, just as I thought, befitting a hero. She is Vis. Could it be the Archmage Tiuna? A legendary hero of Ronka, as you surmised. The tales tell of how she smote entire armies with a single incantation, so potent was her spellcraft. Though she ever fought in the name of peace. I thought them no more than tales. To think she really existed. Well, I for one always believed. I wonder. Tim's looking a little bit murderous. By the light. Of fallen stars, great power awakens. Tuna was not only a master of spellcraft. It is said she could see truths long lost and hear the voices of men's hearts. Not less than the echo. In which case, none of this is mere coincidence. A shower of stars setting the sky aflame. And in both this world and the source, we find individuals within whom a mysterious power awakened at the sight. We can never unpick the why of it. Now, however, I believe we might. Does the scene depicted here not resemble the one we saw when we first ventured into the Katana Ravel? Moreover, does it not recall that which Emmett Selk invited us to witness in Amarot? <gasps> the final days. If, as the Exarch's research suggests, soul and mind share a fragile yet profound bond, 
might it not be possible for an event to leave such a deep imprint upon the soul that it could be perceived eons later, given a suitable trigger? The echo defies explanation by conventional etherological theory, or shall we say modern etherological theory, but if it is a power that once belonged to the ancients, to souls yet undivided, It would seem I have entered the realm of pure speculation, and I call myself a scholar. I shall refrain from making any further wild claims until such time as I have evidence. Still, I cannot choose but be reminded of our experience in Amarot. Then you must recall Emmett Salk's dying request. I will not soon forget it. Remember us. <laughs> Remember us. Remember that we lived. History is learned, not lived. We have always protected the tales of Ronka just as we have protected this place. But we are mindful of what our mothers taught us. We see the past through our own eyes and speak of it with our own words. Thus do we come to understand it in our own way. But this is not the same as remembering. Your mothers were wise. Though we witnessed the final days, our impressions cannot fail to be colored by our own experiences and expectations. Those who lived through it would have perceived the event quite differently. We must bear in mind that it is no simple matter to keep the truth alive, or it will die with Emmett Selk and his kin. But we have disturbed you not long enough. Fana will serve similarly well as a venue for our contemplations. Alright, now we change and turn in. Oh yeah, you look stupid, I forgot. By your pensive expression, I take it the tomb has given you much to think about. That is well. In time, the knowledge you have gleaned will lead us to understanding, and thus arm you for what is to come. Before you leave, however, I would speak again of the teachings of our forebears, of histories learned, not lived. The legend of Tuna and her exploits has been told countless times over the centuries. Yet, it is handled from one generation to the next. The story changes. With each telling of the tale, there are new flourishes, details, changed or lost. We can never truly know how she lived for we were not there to see it. But we are here now to bear witness to your life. We have seen the change you have wrought, the echoes that will endure long after you are gone. And though it too will change in time, I swear to you, we shall do our best to preserve your story. I hope you'll forgive me if I don't make an oath of my own. But I think it goes without saying we could never misspeak of your heroism. Perish the thought. So long as we are here, there are none among the V's who will not know of all you have done for Norbrand. We are not deserving of such reverence, but we are grateful all the same. You can be certain we will have our own tales to tell of the great guardians of Raktika and the ruins of Ronka. I pray you safe travel, son. As ever, we shall await your return with open arms. Back to Reaper. Although we learned not of the Asians, the insight we gained into the Echo will make our trip worthwhile. Before we return to the Crystarium, however, there is a small matter I would attend to in Slitherbow. Might I trouble you to come with me? Thank you. After we arrive, we should have a brief word with Runar. Tying up 
loose ends. Finishing things. There's Runar. Dima, it's so good to see you. You've arrived at, arrived at a most opportune time. I was preparing a pot of my famous stew. Come, I will ready a place for you. I'm sorry, Runar, but we haven't the... Please, I insist. It will only take a moment. So, oh, there he goes. <sighs> my apologies, Dima. Seems our return to the Crystarium will be delayed. But perhaps only for a bit, if you assist me with my work. I say work, but it is rather more a chore. I must clean my chambers here in Slitherbow from top to bottom. If you would be so kind as to go and fetch a broom from Ace Gear, we might finish before Runar is done cooking. Okay. Yeah, I'll get you a broom. A broom for Master Matoya. I cannot imagine why she would have need of such a thing, but here you are. It is old but sturdy and sure to suffice. Yay! Got a nice broom. I trust Aegir was able to find a broom for us. Battered broom, this well-worn broom has seen many a spring and summer in Slitherbow. Swishing and sweeping, sweeping and swishing. Well-worn. Good. This would prove difficult otherwise. Though I must say, I think I did rather well for not having a broom thus far. Yes, well, you weren't buried beneath a veritable avalanche of books when you entered, were you? Right. Anyway, it is time I finish cleaning with the help of that broom. <laughs> what are you doing? You didn't honestly think I'd do it the old-fashioned way. That broom is more than capable of sweeping by itself. Or rather, it will be. <laughs> Time to rise to swish and sweep. A tidy chamber you must keep. To this task you shall be bound till until no dust is to be found. In this one particular respect, I have no objections to following Master Matoya's footsteps. In future, I may need you to remind me the pursuit of knowledge does not preclude other equally important duties, such as maintaining clean quarters for said pursuit. I will dearly miss this place, these people. M Master Matoya, pardon the interruption, but the stew is ready. Is something troubling you? You've been rather quiet. No. Everything is fine, I assure you. It has been a long day, is all. I see. Yustola! Thank goodness you're still here! Oh, the whole gang's here.
Alphano? I thought you were following Artbert. I was, though I'm sad to say I lost track of him shortly after entering these woods. He seems determined to traverse every ilm of Norvrand in his quest to spread the truth of the Warriors of Light and the Flood. And it seems news of your address at the Crystarium precedes him at every destination, making his task all the more simple. It remains to be seen to what end he encourages the people to become Warriors of Light themselves. There is no denying that his words have struck a chord with many. Well, we're all agreed that this is just another Assian ploy, yes? They've commandeered corpses before, and to no good end. I see no reason to think this time is any different, especially when it's that of a fallen warrior of light. I doubt we'll learn more if we remain a step behind. His next destination is, in all likelihood, Slitherbow. Elize, are you certain you should be here? If you're concerned about Halric and the others, you needn't be. Their treatment is going well, but progress is slow and exhausting for all of us. The best thing I can do now is to let them rest. So I believe we were about to discuss how to arrange a meeting with our would-be Warrior of Light. Before visiting any towns or villages, Ardbert would hunt down and slay a nearby Sin Eater to earn the locals' trust. Our best chance of getting ahead of him is to find one before he does. Thankfully, Thancred and Rain are returned from the empty and have taken up the search. Rain believeth one may lurk beneath the boughs of Woven Oath. Then that is where we will start our search. Master Matoya. I... Uh, a warm bowl of stew will be awaiting your return. I look forward to it. so that when I uncover this zone, I get the experience. He's got his fancy glam on right now. Forgot to swap it back uh, after I was playing with his glams. I like the instant portrait thing, it's a nice touch. It's a lot of fun, too, for PvP. Oh look, they did it! Hello, Thancred! Hello, Reen! If you are hoping to vent your frustrations on our Issa friend here, I can only apologize. Few as they are now, it took us no time at all to track it down. That suits our purpose perfectly. Now we need to only wait for Ardbert to arrive. Weren't you two meant to be attending to the empty? We were, and are. But we can hardly ignore the rest of the world. So we thought we might see how things were coming along. From what we can gather, the answer is... strangely. Right now, we think we can do more good here. It is heartening to have all present. Indeed. We will be glad of the additional hands should matters escalate. Our quarry is come. Huh. A 
seems I've lost this particular race. How dare you use his voice? Well, though I suppose it's only fair. It's not fair. When we first met, it was I who outpaced you. Ravana, was it? Mm. You're not him. But where are my manners? I wouldn't be here were it not for you, and I have yet to say a word of thanks. Extend a friendly fish. Ask whether he wishes set over here. Extend a friendly fist. Why not? Oh, I thought he was going to punch him. Arm giving you trouble? You should have it examined. Hmm. You were Ardbert. <laughs> Indeed, Ardbert. Thought you were supposed to be good at this. <laughs> Very well. <gasps> Let us forego this pretense. <laughs> After all. It was never you that I needed to deceive. Yes, it is I, Elizabeth. Through your time in Emmet Selk's imitation of our home, I dare say you have gained a better understanding of my role since last we met. Not that it matters. We understand your role, Emissary, but not your goal. What is it that you seek to achieve? I seek to enact the will of the Convocation, of course. If it helps you to think of me as but another Asian, no different in nature or purpose from the rest, you are welcome to do so. Once, I would have said your goal was destruction alone. Now I understand that you fight for something you love, just as we do. Yet though we seem doomed to clash, I bid you consider Emmet Selk's final words. Remember that we once lived, he said. Had he not seen some glimmer of hope in our kind, I do not believe he would have spoken thus. None better understood your plight than he. His words must surely be worthy of your consideration. Emmet Selk. How very unlike you to err uh, so gravely. <laughs> That one should stray at the end of so onerous a path is understandable. But I had thought you above such weakness. Mayhap you thought the same. Would that I had been present to offer correction. But I shall do so now, as is my duty, and return all to its proper course. As for you, Look at yourselves. Look at your history. Look back 100 short years to how your greatest warriors were undone. And now, at but a word from me, you raise your hands in answer like the puppets you are. Naught has changed. You fail, and you fail, and you learn nothing. Allow that which is most important to slip through your fumbling fingers like so many grains of sand, again and again and again, and you would remember us. You do forget yourselves. Uh, 
There is no common ground to be found between you and I. Nor do I require any. I have my duty. Wait! Well, we have confirmed the identity of our foe, at least. And tis safe to say his objective is the rejoining. But we still have no idea how playing the part of a warrior of light will further his cause, nor why he would spur others to do the same. Hi! Another Hi, visit Jack. to the Tempest may shed some light upon these mysteries. I'm sorry, I was too engrossed in the cutscene and I didn't see your message. Whether we are to exchange words or blows with Elidibus at our next meeting, the fact remains. We know too little. Oh, no, you are good. I'm sorry. It was the intense scene. our paths cross again, I would learn more of the world that once was, and of Elidibus himself. In this, we would be best served going directly to his home, much as Emmett Selk came to ours. Though I see the wisdom in thy suggestion, the Amorot we visited is but a phantom born of Emmett Selk's memory. I fear it will teach us little that we do not already know. I quite agree. Yet the ruins of the actual city remain unexplored. Given the vastness of the Tempest, I should not be surprised were there more such structures like to those in which the Ondo reside. Is there is aught to be learned? I want to know. For want of a better option. As long as you don't make me do any more chores, says the lazy cat. To everyone looking at him. <laughs> Keep that up and I'll send you to bed without supper. <gasps> she says to him back! I know, can't, it couldn't be me. <laughs> chores? Yay! Deal with a dim. Assuming we are all in agreement, then I suggest we first pay a visit to the Ondo. <laughs> if anyone music. can tell us where more ruins are to be found, it is them. Dim still shocked! <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, lahi! Lahi, lahi! Oh, oh, oh. Alphano has the right of it. Let us pay a visit to the Ondo. We should speak with Tulsh Oth first. As chieftain, he is doubtless privy to a great many secrets. The sassy moments are great, and I've not really seen them before, so it's fun seeing them now. I like playing Dim as kind of like dense and dumb and snarky. He's fun. He's not dense and dumb. He just doesn't care sometimes. I have sent for no finless ones. Perhaps you sent instead come seeking something of us. Can't read tonight for some reason. Ruins which your kind have yet to explore. I see. I know of one such place. Alas, under these circumstances, I am afraid we can spare none to guide you there. And what circumstances are these? Rather than hunt for their own meals, the Benthos have pillaged our stores of Miniri liver. They must be replenished with haste. The Benthos. A particularly violent tribe of Ondo, if I recall. A band of bottom feeders. We all lost much in the Flood, but while others work to rebuild, they resort to thievery and murder. Revenge, they call it, for when they prey upon our, your kind. But do not be fooled. They care not who they harm. Would that we had the warriors to challenge them. 
This is not the first time they have stolen from us. There is no resource more precious than liver. All must dedicate themselves to the hunt. Unless, of course, we were to reclaim the livers for you. Seems a fitting payment for vital information, does it not? Moreover, one could argue that by employing Bismarck to reach these depths, thereby driving back the waters, we are in part responsible for the deeds of those driven to desperate ends by the cl changing climes. One good turn and all that. We certainly can't leave them like this. Could we not simply hunt Mirini ourselves? Hmm. Can't leave them like this. I thought you might say that. You've never been one to miss an opportunity to help. Reclaiming the stores it is, then. We would be grateful beyond words if you did. The Benthos have surely taken back the liver taken the livers back to Flounder's floor. But be warned, there will be no shortage of guards waiting to spear intruders. Then we will have care not to draw their attention, shall we? I realized today that the uh, normal raids for Shadowbringers, um, there's 12 of them. And now I'm, uh, worried <laughs> about how long it's gonna take me. But I want to do them really bad. That's true, it does. I'm planning to do, uh... To unlock the weapon raids, is what people have been calling them, tomorrow. Because I still haven't finished that quest line. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, that'd be good. Because, I mean, I assume I'll need bodies at some point, because... I am going to have to grind, I think, Ruby to get one of the mounts. I don't think there's any, like, gear or weapons or... To gear. Any weapons or anything that I want from the raids, but I do want that mount. Um... I've been running it with, uh, it. I've been running some content with the Fellowship recently, so... We're planning to do that tomorrow with the group. I had some people offer to help me unlock it, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah, don't touch me! Little Daisy, I can't go in here. Let's bounce. Got got so many projects that I have to do. They always want stuff to do, huh? Oh, it's just because they love you and you're popular. But I feel that. Sometimes you get too popular and you're like, no, get too popular. You get like everyone who wants your attention right at the time when you're like, I'm gonna do some things for myself. Well, you can always tell them no. On cursory sniff, you detect the faint aroma of fresh oranges, a far cry from the rather memorable scent of Mirini liver. Only with certain people. <laughs> yep, that's a mood. Question your hand into each second turn, you find that all are filled with wheat down to the bottom. You also find raw wheat is unpleasantly pointy. Oops. Dim. Stab in his hand. 
Aww. That's fair. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you if you have someone with someone you want to RP with and something you want to do that's different than the one person or two people you you know than the people you're usually hanging out with, like it's okay to make time for other people and for yourself. And if people throw a, a fit about you needing time to do other things, that's on them. Oh my gosh, you guys have like a whole lineup of people. Boxes are filled with assorted vegetables. Liver is not a vegetable. Yeah, balance is always hard. That's... I've already checked that sack. It could be a fish. <laughs> How does it count as a vegetable? <laughs> oh, we'll find a way. Put some ketchup on it. I can... Yeah, there is space back here. <laughs> Believe in it! Let's see, this should be it. From the squelching noise they make when prodded in the vile stench, you conclude that these bags are bursting with livers. Brilliant. Oh no, it's music. Those them. Perhaps you've deduced this already, but it seems the Benthos have been raiding Calusian storehouses as well as those of the Ondo. Oranges, pumpkins, wheat. But we can discuss this after we've seen the livers safely back to Talos's Ath. Wouldn't want to keep him in suspense. I butcher every name I try to say in this game. Yeah, I mean you could you could always just put like stricter boundaries in place cuz I mean the thing is as long as you're having fun and you're doing like what you want to do and you're not suffering then that's you know, what's important. But like, you shouldn't just be neglecting yourself because I will be sassy about it. Relieved to see you unspeared. This bulging sax makes a truly heinous squelching noise that you, as you heft it over your shoulder. Mm, I hate that. I'm gonna get sassy with people and tell them they need to give you a vacation. Yes, good. That is all that I care about. Precious livers, knew you would not fail. We also found all manner of foodstuffs from Calusia in the flounder's floor. Tell me, Tlosh Ath, does that seem odd to you? It is brazen, to be sure. I'm reminded of rumors I've heard recently concerning a rash of thefts from Calusian warehouses. The perpetrators enter in the dead of night and are gone before anyone has realized what has happened. Yulmor and army has been investigating, but thus far to no avail. Perhaps the reason they have struggled so is that their quarry is of the sea. The true question, then, is what do we mean to do about it? Much as I would like to produce the ruins, proceed to the ruins without further delay, we cannot allow the Benthos to carry on as they are. If I may, I believe the runes are, in fact, the key to the Benthos' plans. Is that so? These runes, which lie deep within the illuminated land, are a recent discovery. We have seen signs that the Benthos are preparing to claim them with all haste. We could not fathom why, but in light of the knowledge that they have been stockpiling resources, it is clear that their queen will soon give birth. 
they require space to raise their young, and food for both queen and hatchlings to thrive. But we can hardly fault them for that. Under normal circumstances, perhaps, but conditions in the Tempest are far from suitable for spawning. This resource is barely able to sustain our current population. There's only one reason they would disregard this. They seek to build an army and with it take revenge upon the Finless. It is not a surprise. They came to us not long ago seeking allies for the cause. We rebuffed them, of course. The suffering of others will not serve as balm to their own. Their queen, however, desires only bloodshed and will gladly send her children to die in our stead. If they are planning to wage war, that changes matters considerably. Indeed. I doubt that this can be resolved without violence, but perhaps with a show of force we can convince them to see reason before the die is cast. I would rather not risk your people in the attempt. If we travel to the illuminated land, is there a way we might identify the ruins ourselves? Yes. Once you reach its depths, go deeper still. You will see a monstrous structure there upon the sea floor. That you have come to us now is the will of the Ancient Ones. They have guided you here, that you may drive out the usurpers, those who seek to use their magnificent creations with vile purpose. I have no doubt that they will show you the way forward. I'm afraid that the death, dead do not speak quite so clearly. Nevertheless, we shall try not to disappoint. If what we seek lieth deeper still beyond Ap Amarant, I would call upon the assistance of another. Let's see. Fending, slaying, aiming, healing. Casting. Uh. I don't think I need any of those, but I'll just pick it up anyways. A whale's tail. Though our course hath been decided, to pursue it, we must needs beseech the aid of a friend. I, I speak of Bismarck. Please, pray, follow me to Solon that we might seek an audience with him once more. The Alpha No. So cute. Ah. And the yawns have begun, so I think I'm gonna need to call it a night and then go to bed. Because... I don't want to be up too late. It's such a good bean. I freaking love Alpha No. He's precious. Precious and wholesome and sweet. And I love him. Yes, let's both go to bed then. Thank you for coming and saying hi. It was good to talk to you. Can poke at you in the later as well. Bother you with messages and video links. Oh, you're welcome. I am happy to do so. And then I will put, put it on YouTube too, so you can watch if you ever get bored. Not that, you know, you can talk to me on that, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna go to sleep before I get more tired. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>